Well, Patrice, uh, tough to see a season come to a close, but an impressive year for the Manitoba Moose. Couple of rounds in the playoffs. What did you see in this postseason from your team? Uh, like you said, I mean, I thought we had a hard-fought first series. Uh, challenging series, obviously, against Grand Rapids. Uh, beat them, and then obviously a tough one against Rockford. Would have been nice to, to obviously keep playing and not be here today, but... Uh, well, uh, you kind of learn and you move on, on on what you did and what you didn't do. And, uh, you, yeah, like I said, you learn and you move on. Pascal Vincent talked during the season about how uh, the way the team dealt with adversity would really define its year. And the team seemed to rise to every challenge and every adverse situation, including that Game 5 in Grand Rapids. As you reflect on that, is that a real point of pride for your team? It is. It is. I think it's a game that you can go back and think, well, we were kind of behind the ropes there, behind the, the eight ball. And... Uh, Game five in Grand Rapids, you know they've been there before, uh, coming from a, a championship uh, win the year before. So it, we were kind of in tough there, and I think winning that game uh, showed that we were able to to play under, uh, I guess, uh, being kind of uh, not the favorites, I guess. So it was uh, fun to see our team battle like that. Looking back on this year, one of the things that jumps out to me is just how, how tight-knit the team was and how everybody worked together, played for each other, and that seemed to start early. Why do you think that was? Not sure. I think the guys came together pretty quick. Obviously, this early success in the year, I think, kind of, you kind of always think, does the success become bring the, the kind of close group or the close group bring the success? So I think our early success this year kind of brought the guys closer. Um, and from there, we kind of hit a few bumps in the roads, injuries, call-ups, and I thought we did a good job of, uh, of staying the course and uh, keep, uh, we kept battling every night. One of the things a few of the guys have brought up is that road trip in California as a turning point and, and maybe getting the win uh, in Stockton after the loss in Bakersfield, then going right over to Bakersfield and, and getting an overtime win the next night. Did you see that as an important time in the year, bringing the team together? Yeah, it was. After that Bakersfield... Uh, game that lost. We kind of had a meeting. Uh, I think that was a, the one meeting this year that the coach was really uh, not mad, but when the when your coach is kind of disappointed in in what you do and kind of like of the effort and it, it kind of looked disgusted a little bit, you kind of realize that we got to fix things and fix things quick. So from there, we we had the team, we had the goaltending, the, the decor was great, our offense was. Uh, pretty good. So, um, and at that moment, things started, uh, yeah, clicking pretty good. After a couple of challenging seasons leading into this season in the Moose 2.0 era, how important was it? How much do you appreciate being able to be part of a Moose team that takes the team back into the spotlight in the league? Yeah, it was. It, it's it's a big. I think it was huge for us to kind of prove that uh, we were able to to play with the big teams. And uh, one of the, and every time you play the Moose, it's not. I kind of like the past years. I think. You, teams kind of took us lightly and we would go there maybe show up maybe not show up so it's fun to kind of prove that we had it in us and uh, obviously new additions to the team helped uh, a lot of great years by a lot of guys so obviously uh, that, that was a huge help well when you talk about great years I think of 22 goals for you getting up over that 20 goal plateau for the first time on a personal level how rewarding was it to be able to get those numbers and contribute in that way it was fun. It was fun. It's always fun to contribute in any other way, PK or defensively or face-offs. But it is fun to to be able to put some numbers on the board. And uh, obviously, I've been say I said it all year. Uh, the guys that I played with this year, last year, uh, make my game pretty easy. So it's just uh, I just play the simple game. And uh, yeah, they make guys like Robinson this year, Lemieux. I played with Patan, Appleton. Uh, so it's a pretty. Uh, they make it pretty easy for me. Well, a couple of things come to mind from what you're saying. I guess first we'll start with the other guys who were in that leadership group that guided the team. How much do you appreciate being able to have players with experience around to help you to take that load of setting a tone? Uh, it was huge. A uh, guy like Buddy that comes in, played against them before, didn't really know what to expect. Uh, just his on ice, off ice. Um, when we talk about our team coming together this year, it was guys like him that made sure that just great team guys want everybody at dinner. They want everybody everywhere together. Uh, Cameron Schilling, uh, obviously Darren uh, was a huge part of what we, we've tried to build over the past few years. So uh, yeah, they made things, like I said, pretty, yes, I'm the captain, but those guys were, were right, right there beside me the whole way.
Yeah, well, you mentioned Darren. Darren Kramer announcing his retirement uh, after the team was eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, what an influence on the team, but you know better than anyone. So tell us about uh, number 22's role here over the last three years. It's, it's tough to put in words, honestly. Just uh, every time he's in the lineup, you know that the other teams know that he, that's the hockey side of it. They know what he brings, and it kind of brings a calming present. Uh, obviously, this year played a little less, but his in the room, I think he kind of stepped up his game. He was he was huge for the young guys, huge for the kind of calming the old guys when things weren't just making sure everything was fine. Uh, yeah, he was. He'll be missed by a lot of people. I think you don't you don't realize what a, a guy brings until he's gone, and then you you kind of oh, oh like we we need a guy like that again. So uh, he'll be missed for sure, and uh, I'm sure. Uh, He'll, uh, a lot of guys will keep in touch with him because everybody was close with him. Everybody wants to, wanted to hang out with him. Everybody wanted to hear him see the crap that comes out of his mouth. So it was a pretty special person. And uh, he, like I said, he'll be uh, missed. Some young players really came in and, and had an impact on this team as well. Uh, can't name everybody, but Sammy Niku uh, had a tremendous season. Mason Appleton. How about seeing some of those guys blossom the way they did? Yeah, we talked about it all year. I think those guys came in and just showed that, I guess, they they belonged right away. They they wanted to perform. They wanted to talk about leaders. Uh, I guess it, that proves that you you don't have to be an older guy to be a leader. Those guys on the ice, the, they're our best players, game in and game out, and uh, they showed that they're really. Uh, hopefully, they're really close to making the next step. Coaching staff obviously plays a critical part in any team's success. Uh, Pascal Vincent leading the way as the head coach, coach of the year in the American Hockey League. How about that in terms of um, maybe seeing him come to that level of success in his job coming into the, the team for a second year? Yeah, it is always fun to see somebody get rewarded like that. I think uh, the, the effort they put in, not only him, but Marty and Eric, uh, you know, they, they're always at the ring. They're always, we leave at noon, but they're here till. Uh, later that day, every day, so they uh, all they made sure we were ready every game. They gave us all the tools necessary to to be able to to be successful, and uh, obviously a huge, obviously a huge thanks to them. And, and uh, I guess congrats to Pazzi. I mean, he was he deserved being uh, coach of the year.